uh, jeepers. We got 20 cows in the barn. And one still has one outside. So we'll come back and get the mom. Poor thing. As I was saying, we got 20 cows in the barn. Some of them have been in there over a week. I mean, you watch what we do. We get the cows up twice a week. We sort them. We drive through them every day and look at bags. And despite that, sometimes their bags don't fill up, aren't as obvious as others. We got lucky again. The calf's healthy, the calf's fine. It was even sucking. You know, the tips of its ears are cold. We're gonna get it in the heater. The cat's gonna be just fine. It's just it kind of hurts your fry a little bit, and I'm sure the calf was uncomfortable for a while. I'm gonna head back out there, make sure I didn't miss another one, and then we'll go to the white building and see if we got any new calves in the barn, like like we want to get them, if they do calve. It's an absolute cluster in there. There was already like eight babies and then three more had calves. It's just, I'm gonna go get dad. There's so many cattle in there. It's hard to understand what's going on. So far we've had four calves today. I think it's incredible how many calves, you know, it was pretty cold and we were getting some snow on and off last week. So we were keeping things in the barn. And so we had eight or nine pair in there and then three more calf in the barn last night. being a fourth calf in there so there was five born last night so we did pretty good we got four out of five born in the building there's a lot going on mm -hmm. we had terrible wind the last two days so we left the ones in the barn longer than usual and now we got calves everywhere so we gotta get some out of here today all right so this is everybody going today ellie you're gonna get me in trouble here we're gonna be moving them just a mile that way and then we got we got five pairs in there, either born yesterday or today. Dad's gonna get feeding. We're gonna run a little late because there's so much doings going on. Moving the payloader so we can get at the bale processor. I'm gonna load up a bale, embed that little calf shelter that's over there, and then we'll start moving pairs after we get done with chores. We're gonna be moving out 11 pair. That's gonna make a lot of rooms in the barns. That'll be nice. So last video, we are here moving snow, getting ready for this. You can see the places we move snow, we're getting some clear spots. And tomorrow the temps are getting up to 47, the warmest it's been all year. That's really gonna get some stuff melting. Gotta get some water going and by the time, oh! By the time we get back with a bunch of pears, this should be full. Oh, this ain't good. They're bagging the seats leaking. Oh, golly. I'm getting short. Oh. See how our little friend is doing? Gotta be a little careful with these heaters because you can dry a calf out. And so we obviously don't want that. So we're gonna unplug that. How you doing? He's feeling good. Yes, he is. So once we get done with feeding, we'll be able to get that mom up, get them back together. I feel like I'm in a low rider. Hi. <laughs> Professor Poopy Pants. Hey, got the dirty diaper. 
Somebody sharded in there. So we got a whopping seven pairs sitting outside over there. We're going to get them up, haul them over, and there'll be 11 over at this new place, which is called the Bow Place. Why is it called the Bow Place? Because Walter Bow lived there. I never met him. He was way older than me, but that's what my dad called it, and, and that's what we all called it over the years. I got caramel sauce. Oh. Caramel sauce. Looks a little ripe. Lick it. Mm. No. I can smell the caramel. Yeah. Come on, let us. I fought him for like three football field lengths. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> That's a good pair. So we already have 11 pair over here. And we put 18 over, so just seven more, and this one will be full, and we'll be on to the last place we can bring them to. Full tank of water, ready to go. Oh, nice. You did real good, Cole. Thanks. Good thing they got the barbed wires on them. Now we're going to get that mom up and then we're going to start cleaning this building. The cow's actually pretty close. She's probably looking for it. We got her all warmed up for her. That pair from this morning outside back together. She's licking it. So this building isn't the dirtiest. But, you know, it's dirty enough, and we got, you know, a lot of important stuff taken care of, so we'll get this cleaned out. That way, if we have another run of calves, we got somewhere clean to go with them. Just what you want to see, that calf going right up and sucking on that cow. There's a bucket in me way. I can only blame myself on that one.
fresh, clean barn. I suppose we got pretty much enough pears that we can move in a couple days to finish filling that pasture. Probably later this week, we're gonna have to go to the last one and start cleaning a little snow, getting some hay over there, getting ready to bring pears over there. Last Thursday, we had eight or nine in one day. Today, we had at least five, and it's not even noon yet. Keeps going like that. We'll be done calving here really soon. Dad took the manure spreader. He's getting rid of all that garbage. Uh, we're gonna probably go in for lunch and then you know, see what happens. He looked pretty clean there. I didn't carry the calf at all. I do. I will say that. Let's pee. I will say that uh, he got a few to carry before you catch up to me in the grand scheme of things. I see. But I sure appreciate you carrying it though. Because I'm fading fast. Yeah, sometimes I look over, he's taking a nap, and then I'm like, is he breathing? And then the nap's really short because then I have to go to the bathroom. So we're gonna look through the cattle out there. There's about two that are getting kind of close and just get them up by the building. Song of the day, Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show. Or just Dr. Hook, whatever is your fancy. Sylvia's mother is the song of the day. Thank you. You got a big old bag? You wanna go in the barn? You know, these cows might not be able to walk and chew gum at the same time, but they can walk and poop at the same time, so that's some talent. That's something I can't do. Depends on how sick you are. So, Tiffany and I have been talking about redoing our bathroom upstairs. It's a small bathroom, we can't really figure out what we want to do, but I told her, and I, I thought it was a pretty good idea. You know, we're limited on space, let's just get rid of the toilet altogether, and then we'll just waffle stomp it. And, uh, you know, you don't need a toilet. I'm not familiar with the term. Waffle stomp? Yep. So it's where you... Is there a grate or something you step it down into? Or... Yeah, in the shower. Oh, in the in the shower. Yeah. It's waffle stomping. <laughs> It'd give us a whole one and a half by one and a half foot extra room. <clears throat> um, we could put cabinets there. I'm guessing she wasn't overly receptive to the idea, or is it growing on her? She also didn't know what waffle stomping was. I think you made it up. <laughs> didn't take video of me carrying that calf, because I can only do so much at one time, but one of those cows that calved in the other building had a pretty small calf, and it keeps doing that which usually means it's a little hungry. I put the fresh coat on, but you know, the long sleeve, it's still wet. The long sleeve t-shirt. So I just, you know, getting pee on a brand new coat. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like I got to take the long sleeve t-shirt off and then, and then start from scratch, you know? I could wrap your arm with duct tape to keep the pee away from your skin. Or I could take the skizzers and cut the, cut cut the, the sleeve, sleeve off. Which do you prefer? I think cut the sleeve off. I would. Yeah. Hey, you gotta step forward there, ma'am. Put a little bit in a bottle and get them drinking that first and it kind of motivates them, brings them to life and then hopefully they just get up and want more and you put them on the cow and away you go. I've done that before where I've tried to get the calf to suck and she doesn't have the energy and now see she wants more, she's hopping up. We noticed this calf was quite thin. It was born overnight but it just never has gotten its belly full I think. so. Now he's starting to 
still a little bit of funk. You can get him up to the side of the So dad got on them teats and he said they were kind of plugged, didn't want to come out very well and you know, brand new calf. It tries sucking on something, nothing comes out, it probably gets pretty confused and doesn't get any milk, so. We have an updated list. We are at 50, oh, 33, 33 bowls, 26 heifers, so we're 59. nearing 60. <clears throat> I have two lists here. This is my 2023 Cleves, which has all the ones I've named. And this is all the people that are begging me so far to put their names on it. So they're in the waiting. And then there's others that have not made the waiting yet. But I would recommend to you, instead of telling me to name one after you, to ask me. Because the people that ask Will you me, please, kind sir, Yes. query about naming a calf after yeah. thyself? Like, like, take, for instance, Carl Carson's girlfriend that wanted to not buy her boyfriend a birthday present so she Nate wanted you know at first she said name one after him and I'm like well I gotta tell you that you know there's a lot of people getting ahead of you on the list because they asked <laughs> and then she revamped her message that last video was pretty interesting there's a bunch of people that just said say my name right like they don't even want it named out they just want you to say their name uh, they don't want the calf named out that's usually followed with the B word say my name Brian? Brian. Anyway, you got your Vivian, long time viewer, first time caller. <laughs> Billy. Billy Bob Thornton. Here's an interesting one. Little three year old girl that loves our channel, maybe four. I don't know. Not keeping track. Might have been three yesterday, four today. Arabella. Got your Chris. I think Chris might know Arabella. Might be a father son, might not. Can't remember. Not that important to me. Kind of important, but not as important as claiming. Here's a good old Norwegian name, Lars. Top of the morning to you, Lars. And Kayla. Is that all of them for today? That is. Well, geez. We can't have nothing nice. <laughs>